you know what I like? I like the spring. I like the spring a lot. <sighs> Basically just went out. It's a local park. Like with some valleys and trees and, well, grass. Playground. And fucking nobody's around because it's like Monday. <laughs> it's like 5 p.m. people are coming home from work. Golden hour, which means the light is gorgeous. And I'm just sitting in the grass and smelling the earth and... Fucking hell, it's like... Slowly restoring my HP. <laughs> I believe there's a bumblebee over there. If I can catch it in the frame for you. Nope, not so much. Fuck, man, look at that. Why, is that not just the f most gorgeous fucking thing? I think so. I don't think I have a topic to talk about. Or at least I didn't have anything in mind, I'm just... Ugh, fucking hell. Taking in the spring, and it is a healing balm. The sun is out, but it's not too warm. It's a nice cool breeze, but you don't freeze. Bird song everywhere. Some dude's walking his dog over there. And some of the trees are flowering, too before sprouting their leaves. And of course the dandelions are out in force. Ah, it makes me sound like a fucking 18th century romantic poet, and I don't want to because those dudes were fucking weirdos, but... While I don't subscribe to the romanticism of, like, national nature or whatever, I do subscribe to a certain romanticism of just, like, nature <laughs> I just like not things that are not pavement you know or concrete cuz I mean there've been studies like the, I know there's been a bunch of scientific studies that like simply being in nature like just being outside for a while touching grass as people are fond of saying on Twitter uh, it does help. Like, it, it, it actually does have a measurable benefit to your, like, mental state. Like, it, it, your body will produce hormones in response to it that are just like, ah, yes, the good juices. Which is not to say that it's like, don't ever let anyone tell you that it's a depression cure or anything, because fuck no, it's not. It's not how it works, but... Like, at least while you're out here, that's been my experience, even when my depression was at its worst. Like, when I'm out in nature, on grass, surrounded by trees, I can hear birdsong and there's wind in the leaves and shit. It's not that I don't... I stop feeling depressed, but I do feel better. For a bit. Like, I just get a little bit of relief for a little while, where things aren't quite as bad. And that has a lot of value. Let me tell ya. <laughs> Because when you're depressed, that's really, that's the one thing you're looking for the most is just to not, to feel a little bit less shitty for a bit. It's just like magic. I'm not looking forward to the summer. Because my windows face west, which means for the majority of the day, I've got direct sunlight coming through, which means my 
room gets absolutely sweltering. But the spring, fucking love the spring. The spring is good. It's also not pollen season yet, like the grass has not taken it upon itself to ruin me yet. It will. Oh, it will. It is biding its time, waiting for the moment to strike. But not yet. For now, we can be allies rather than adversaries. Oh, hey, here's a reminder of something. Say hello to a World War II era bunker. Bunker. Air raid shelter. People used to use these to hide from, well, allied bombing raids, actually. Because we were a collaborator nation. We surrendered to the Nazis the moment they came in with their vastly superior army. Like, it's not like we had a chance, but we surrendered immediately and became collaborators. And so we became legitimate targets of war for Allied bombing, for which these things are built. And most of them are still standing. Like any town you go to, you'll, if you know where to look, you'll find them. Um, old sealed off bunkers that we all used to, or <laughs> I, mean, I say we, it's not like I was alive, but that people used to flee into when the air raid sirens went off. And they still go off sometimes. Uh, once a year they test them. It's on the 5th of some month or something, I, I think. Or the first Wednesday of something. And we get like... I get that, that classic air raid siren sound. And there's always like news bulletins and like and the news on TV and like the local newspaper and... All kinds of announcements are made that, hey, this thing is happening, don't panic, it's just, it's not, don't worry about it, it's just a test. And yet, every year, <laughs> like, the police gets hundreds of, hundreds of calls, and people are like, what the fuck is happening? Oh my god, are we under attack? Do we need to flee? Is it terrorism? Because, you know, there's only so much you can do to inform the public. <sighs> Huh, I think a cat must have got a bird or something. Anyway, go outside and touch grass. I guess that was my point. It's good for you. Doesn't cure you of anything, but it's good for you. I'm going back to tarmac and pavement because I need to go shopping. Bye.